everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 319. I'm Nate Moore. Talked to another group this week about uh, speaking to their MGMA Society this coming spring. If I haven't spoken to your society lately, I'd love to. What I want to do today is play for a minute in the Pivot Table Options menu. I'm get, I've got to be inside the Pivot Table to have Pivot Table Tools and this Options tab. Once I've got the Options tab from here, I've got more options here, and that's where we're going to play. I have a name for this pivot table. If it helps you to organize them, here's another way to put the pivot table name in here. The default is just pivot table, and then we get pivot table one, two, three, and all that. What I want to talk about is the layout section today. What merge and center cells with labels does, let me drag this out of the way for just a second. See how Hana Copy I, I've got build and allow and write off and all these other things here, and this is formatted all the way to the left. Watch what happens when I click here. See how this centers across this, and if we come over here, Kalapaki centers. It um, just a little bit cleaner and easier if you have a bunch of columns going across to see which columns Hana Kapi and which columns Kalapaki. If you like it, it's easy to do from the options menu and merge and center cells with labels. When in compact form, we're going to talk about different forms when we get to the design tab over here in a couple Excel videos, but in the meantime we are in compact form and what this controls is how far the indentation goes for these row labels. See how 2009 and underneath Medicare and Aetna these uh, payers are indented one? Let's just do something obvious so you can see the difference. We can indent them more than that if you need to keep these levels separate from one to the next to the next. I typically, I always leave it at the default I'm happy with one, but if for whatever reason, for a formatting reason, the way you've got your font set up or whatever, you need to make that a little more, it's easy to do. What I want to talk about next is these two in conjunction. If you do pivot table fields in down, then over, or over, then down, and the number of fields per column, what I need to do to make this work, see how I have three uh, fields here. Let's drag just a couple of more down here. So what do I have now? I have six fields. I always leave them here, but making this video, I'm thinking I may prefer the way that I'm going to show you now. If you have a bunch of fields in the report filter area here and they're all lined up here, what you can do from options, layout and format, we're going to go down and then over and let's do three report filter fields per column. Click OK. See how that splits across there? And if we did two fields per column, I got two, four, and then the next one's not even visible until I get over to there. You can control how much space your pivot table takes up. I've done some pretty complicated pivot tables for folks with 15, 20 items here in the report filter area just because there's so many things we want to tweak. And to be able to spread it across by doing this may be helpful for us and save us some space. One per column, two per column. Let's go back to three per column. And then over then down is just the order that these appear. Do I want them in, in the order that they are here, do I want to go over and then down, or do I want to go down, you know, do column A, two, and then go over to column D and do two, and then go column G and do two. It's just the order. They're in this order here. Watch date, specialty, patient, CPT code. If we drag patient all the way to the bottom. See how patient is now the last in the list. You can control the way or the order in which these fields appear in the report filter area and the way they appear up here by dragging them to the order you want and then deciding how many report filter fields per row. And again, you can go across and then down to the next row or you can do A5 and 6 and then D5 and 6 and then sell G5 and 6, whichever way you want to do it. That's what I wanted to talk about today, the layout side of this. The formatting, especially this piece down here, will be very helpful for you, and we'll talk about that next time. Thanks for watching.